Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to 3D Now. My name is Jack and in this video, I'm going to review the Innofill 3D Pro 1 filament. So jumping right into the video, this filament is a really, really cool material. It's an extremely versatile material that's made for more advanced users. It's kind of an ABS replacement. So this filament has three different features. It can print for speed, it can print for strength, or it can print for aesthetic. And it does this by using different temperatures, different print speeds, different fan speeds, and different layer heights. So you can use this one pro material and print it at different settings and you can get different results. So you can have a faster print, you can have a stronger material, or you can have a part that looks great. And all this is from the Pro One filament. It's an ABS replacement because printing with ABS is really hard and it's hard to get a good print, but this Pro One filament can print very strong, have a good aesthetic and print very fast. And it has a lot of the same strengths as ABS would have. So as you open the box, it comes with this nice little piece of paper and a graph shows you all the different settings you need to print for either speed, strength, or aesthetic. The color that I got is natural white, which is a really cool color. It's kind of a clearish white and has a really nice finish. Mine is a 1.75 millimeter. It comes from a 2.85 millimeter as well. And the average temperature between all the different three settings is 215 degrees Celsius and 60 degrees Celsius on the bed. And that's sort of an average PLA temperature or a little bit higher. And this prints surprisingly easy as well. It lays down nice smooth layers on the bed and sticks very easily. Also, if you print for the aesthetic, the shells and the finish is amazing. It's this sort of clear, shiny white and it looks really, really nice. So I highly recommend this material if you're a pro user and you want a PLA material that has the characteristics of ABS filament, you can print fast, strong, or have a good surface finish. And for the price and the ease of use, I would totally recommend this filament. So now I'll show you some of the test prints I have with this material. So the first one, I try to do a strong and practical functional print. I'm getting a new 3D printer, the Creality CR10, and I wanted to print some upgrades for this new printer. So I decided to print this with, with the strong settings and the parts were very, very stiff and strong and the finish even looked really really good as well and and all all the little parts and pieces and the shells printed nice and smooth everything was intact and i can't wait to test this out on my new printer the next print was a bottle but the bottle part i had some slicing errors which was my fault but the cap came out really really well the threads inside came out perfect the finish was amazing and the color looked awesome as well i printed that with the aesthetic settings Finally, I printed the Make Anything Vase. I printed this with the speed settings and I used two parameter shells and this printed super fast and it looks awesome as well in this natural white color. So if you want to check this filament out, I'll put some links in the description below to the website and places where you can purchase this. And again, if you don't know, I have an Instagram at 3d.now. Go over there and follow me for updates. Thanks for watching this video guys, please give a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos like this, comment down below, I'll answer every single question, and I'll see you guys in the next video.